the doors yes we are back with the doors the great jim morrison roadhouse blues um so i see here it says official video and it's on their page so i'm gonna assume this is probably just a live performance but we'll see um as always we'll do the song research afterwards but if this is a music video, I would love to see it. I'm really excited. But if it's not and it's just a live performance, I also want to see that. Um, not only because uh, I have a very... Uh, I just don't know enough about Jim Morrison and his live performances. I, I know from word of mouth. But knowing that there is a decent amount of footage of him out um you know during his lifetime of him performing i would love to see what made him such a great performer why they say he's one of the greatest front men of all time um but if it's not and it's really legitimately a video I, I also would love to see that as well so but it we, we'll, we'll take whatever we can get but i'm really excited about this i'm ready i'm not gonna bore you with the long monologue we're gonna get into it let's go gentlemen from Los Angeles, California, the door. No way this is real. No way this is real. Tell me that is not real footage of police kicking him off stage. Are you serious? Oh my goodness. For one, the fits fire. His outfits. For people who don't know what fits mean. Fit the leather looks that he rocking with the curly with the curly hair they got the ladies going crazy clearly he he was the he was the ladies man i do remember that story about him and janice joplin how janice had to give him a two-piece because he was drunk and he was acting he, he didn't know how to keep his hands to himself i do remember that story but i i, I do remember reading that jim was a ladies man and i'm seeing it and that all the leather look that he got, fire. But I ain't know he was performing like that to the point where the crowd, I mean, the police coming up there and pulling them off every other show. I ain't know it was like that. This is crazy. But to the song, I am listening to the song. He sounds phenomenal. Now we hearing more blues. We are here in regards to the title, Roadhouse Blues. I feel like the first couple of songs, it, it wasn't bluesy. Uh, definitely felt... I don't know how to describe those first two songs, but this, his voice definitely feels a little bit more bluesy, but this video is crazy. Slow. Let it
Look at the ladies just reaching into the limo. Jim was knocking them down. I mean, again, I did know, again, my knowledge of Jim Morrison is very, it's not, it's not a lot, but I do know. So basically, a lot of what I know about just about everybody in the 27 Club come from this show. Um, is it the last 48? The last 24, it talks about a lot of big celebrities and what led up to their death. And in the show, they kind of give you, not a, it don't give you, it's not like a biography, but, but they do kind of get into the life and career of the person before they get into the death of the person. That's where some of my uh, Jim Morrison uh, knowledge comes from. Um, and they did talk about how he was a ladies' man and all that, but this right here, and I def I cannot wait to watch a, a live performance. The passing out, the falling all over the place, the jumping around, he seems like he was one hell of a performer. But yeah, look at the ladies going crazy. And, and to the song, I know I'm talking about everything but the song. Love the key, another phenomenal keyboard performance. I'm loving the keyboard. I love the bass. Boom, 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 boom. I love that. And then the drums, that whole little, like that whole little thing they just did about 20 seconds ago, crazy. But I can't, like, this video is like fascinating. I can't even, like, I can't even, like, take my eyes off of it. Like, this is crazy. Give up your mouth Save our city Save our city Right now Well, I woke up in the morning Got myself a beer Well, I woke up in the morning I got myself a beer Jim looked like he was a mess. I do know that he did before he passed away. He oh look, I think that I think that's it right here. If y'all the final twenty four, that's what it's called, the final twenty four. Um, yeah, Jim looked like he was a mess dealing with him all day. Being their security guard, I couldn't have been their security guard. Jim seemed like he was just too crazy. That was that was a phenomenal song, though. And all that I, I just talked about. I know I just talked relentlessly about the, um, the video. The song was amazing. The song was really amazing. Um, let's see if we can find a page that can give us some... Some info on this song. Uh, from their 1970 album, Morrison Hotel. Uh, it was released as a B-side of You Make Me Real, which peaked at number 50 on the Billboard Hot 100. Um, the song became a concert staple for the group, and, and it has been covered by numerous artists. Blues Rock, Electra Records, written by Jim. Uh, despite his relatively unsuccessful chart peak, 50 is considered un unsuccessful? 
I thought anything on the Billboard Hot 100 was successful. Think about it. Out of the quadrillion songs that exist in the world, your song in the States is in the top 50. I don't think that's unsuccessful at all. I think that's very successful. But okay. Uh, despite its relatively unsuccessful chart peak, um, it received strong airplay on rock radio stations. I guess that's all that matters. But don't they coincide? How, how does that even make sense? If they played it all day on the radio, wouldn't it be a bigger song? Okay. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Um... It doesn't have the certifications, unfortunately. Yeah, Ray Manzarek, Tack Piano. Tack Piano. Uh, an altered version of an ordinary piano in which objects such as thumbtacks or nails are placed on the felt pat pat on the felt padded hammers of the instrument at the point where the hammers hit the strings giving the instrument a teeny more percussive sound hmm i need to see what that looked like how many different kind of pianos are there this is out of curiosity Tack piano, that's a first. Um, Lonnie Mack on bass, that was a great bass line. That was a phenomenal bass line. All right, the song was recorded over two days from November 4th to 5th in 1969. Jim Morrison, who was intoxicated during the sessions, flubbed several uh, lyrics and kept repeating the phrase "money beats soul" every time. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't. Have, I look, look. I get it. You know, rock stars and being, you know, drunk and living the lifestyle. I get it. You living wild, living free. But when it's time to work, it's time to work. Now. If I can't, if we can't get the work done without you being drunk, I don't know if I could deal with it. You know, so shout out to the the bandmates of, you know, and all of these bands. Everybody kind of does something. That's kind of what I've learned in me doing all of these journeys of these different bands and artists. Everybody has some sort of vice. Um, it's just a matter of who controls it better than others. Um Clearly, Jim had no control over it. Um, J uh, you know, Janis Joplin at points didn't have control of, over it. Um, Kurt Cobain at some point didn't have a control over it. It, it, it. You know, it just... But to work with that type of just madness that's just madness dealing with somebody intoxicated while you're trying to make a song i could only imagine and knowing that he was like that all the time i wouldn't have been able to deal with it but they made magic somehow some way they made it happen um it said it took several takes um i'm sure it did um but that's a that's crazy. That's a crazy story, man. Great song. I'm happy we heard another side of Jim Morrison's voice. We heard the blues side. This was a lot of fun. The video was phenomenal. I can't wait to react to some live performances from them. Because he seems like he was a nut. He seemed like he was... When he was on that stage, he did whatever. So I cannot wait to see some of his live performances. For anybody that saw Jim Morrison live... Please put it in the comment section. I would love to know what your experience was like. Um, what did he do? What did the band do? How was the performance? Was he intoxicated? I would love, just out of curiosity, just let me know if you saw Jim Morrison and the Doors live.
let me know. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, with the doors, peace.